Hey, Coos. How are you doing, man? What's up, Kyle? Hey, um, just, uh, obviously in the last, uh, day, LeBron signed, uh, an extension, AD signed a new deal, um, you know, what does that make you feel, just having those guys kind of locked in the franchise for a while, and, um, how does that influence the way that you feel about, um, your future with the franchise? Um, it's a very good time for those guys, um, rightfully so and deserving. Um, obviously bringing home uh, championship number 17, uh, those guys deserve it. And, you know, they're hell of a players, obviously, and don't need to keep repeating that. But, um, you know, I'm very happy for those guys. Uh, yeah, we've talked. Um, <clears throat> so, you know, it's, it's obviously just talk between, uh, you know, my agent and the organization. Um, and, you know, they're working through things. So, um, you know, we'll see. Yeah, you know, it was probably one of the shorter off seasons. Um, obviously, I think I think I saw somewhere it's like 71 days or something for us. So, um, you know, for me, I didn't really take much time off. Just, you know, obviously rested, got back home and enjoyed my house and then, you know, kind of just got back to work. So, um, you know, obviously there's not much to, to really do nowadays uh, with COVID and pandemic still out. So. Um, for me, it's all about, you know, just uh, being safe and putting work in, so. Uh, Dave? Hey, Kyle, great to see you. Uh, you mentioned COVID and when you guys won the championship, obviously it was down in Florida in the bubble and everyone was getting tested daily, everyone was safe. Uh, what type of thoughts or apprehension or worry or confidence, I don't know, that do you have about going into this season out the bubble without all the, the same protocols? Um, yeah, you know, obviously it's going to be tough. As you guys see across the league, there's been a lot of uh, positive uh, testings from other players and other organizations. So, you know, it's, it's going to be an ongoing thing all year. You know, um, can't stop guys from, you know, actively doing what they want in life. So um, it's all about just being safe, you know, wearing a mask and, you um, you know, just trying to stay as low, low as possible so you're healthy and don't have to miss games. Dan? Hey, Kyle. Um, kind of along those lines, I think Lucas said something that he thinks the team that will be in the best shape will be the team that stays the most COVID-free. Um, is that kind of how you view this season in a lot of ways, that it's like that's going to be as important as floor spacing or team defense, the ability to kind of stay disciplined out of uh, the virus's way, I guess. No, I, I, I don't really think so. I mean, you can you, you can be the, the, the safest, healthy, healthiest team and still lose games. So, um, I mean, actively, obviously, you don't want to, you know, have a, one of your star players get COVID and miss a certain amount of time. But uh, at the same time, you have to go in and compete, and especially in the NBA. Any, any team can be beat by anyone, so, um, you know, I, I agree to disagree with it. Uh, I'll kind of go on a little bit, I guess, along this line. Last year, you had, uh, you had you, your role changed, obviously, uh, on a team that, that had LeBron and AD and stuff like that. Um, there's been a big turnover in roster, again. Um, how, do you know what your role is going to look like? Um, what do you, and what do you want it to um, I mean, you never you never truly know until the ball goes up and 
the season starts going. So, um, you know, we'll see. Obviously, it's ultimately what, you know, Frank views me as. And, you know, we'll see. Um, you know, I just want to just build on what I did um, in the playoffs um, from a defensive standpoint um, and just, you know, just take those steps as a defender um, and just improve my all-around game. So, that, you know, that's just always the process every, every, every offseason, every, every time to reflect. You always just try to build on uh, what you did last year, work on it, and uh, just improve. So. Uh, disadvantage, um, you know, especially for just older guys. Obviously, um, a lot of guys haven't been in the gym um, from a standpoint of not just our team, but just, you know, if you look at the final four teams that were in the conference finals, um, usually you probably took about a month off. So, you know, getting their bodies back ramped up and warmed up in a short amount of time, it's uh, definitely going to be a disadvantage to, you know, teams that were you know, had late runs in the playoffs uh, compared to the teams that uh, did not make the bubble and um, had early exits in the bubble. Hey, Kyle. Um, as a young player winning a championship in the league, which isn't always that common for players, what, what type of a perspective do you think for you in terms of what you want for your career, things that really matter? Um, I think, you know, it just, it just puts a better, um, you know, just more confidence under your belt. Uh, makes you, um, you know, at the end of the day, you're a winner. And that's something that no one can ever kind of take from you. Um, you know, especially being a part of it and, um, you know, being a key piece, you know, it's, it kind of, it kind of um, just motivates you, just motivates you in a different type of light, you know, especially going from, um, you know, let's say you don't make the playoffs and your, your season ends early and um, you're motivated because you want to become, you know, and, and, and get into the playoffs. It's kind of the same thing, winning the championship. You want to win more, you want to win, and uh, you just want to be successful, and uh, that's what it's brought. Um, not too much, you know, I, I, I live a healthy lifestyle, so, um, you know, always eating, eating right, eating healthy. Um, I run a lot, just trying to stay in shape and, um, you know, just be ready, so. Uh, yeah, you know, they're, they're uh, great players, um, you know, glad that we got them, um, you know, guys that are, you know, proven in this league and uh, coming to a championship organization and, um, you know, obviously if they can buy in to what we do, um, they're going to be successful.